Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Christopher Ecclestone from Halgarten and Company. How are you today, Christopher? Very well, thank you. And of course, many of you out there know that I often uh, reach out to Christopher when I want to know what's going on. So how about, Christopher, we just start with the Russian invasion of the Ukraine. Uh, your thoughts? Yeah, well, it's a, it's a seminal event. It's really, uh, you know, we've had lots of minor wars um, in the last 70 years, but um, it's the closest thing to a blitzkrieg, um, such as when the Germans started the Second World War, when they invaded um, you know, first Poland and then Holland and France. Um, we haven't seen anything like that really since then. And of course, I have two questions in this next question, which is the Russians have a stranglehold on fill in the blank and the Ukraines have a stranglehold on fill in the blank. Can you talk to us about that? Okay. So from the Russian point of view, you know, the key things, and Russia produces a lot of things mineralogically, but um, uh, the key things are nickel, uh, cobalt, uh, platinum, and palladium, and particularly the last two, you know, because there are other producers out there of, of nickel and co uh, cobalt, but um, in platinum and palladium, except for South Africa, um, where, which is a distant second, um, the Russians have a dramatic grip upon that. Not only do they have the mine production, but they also have big stockpiles. And, um, you know, while we're transitioning to the, the green economy, et cetera, and people have said, you know, it's the end for platinum and palladium because of their use in catalysts, um, uh, no, we still need them and we still need lots of them. And um, the Russians are, are the, have got the clincher on that one. Uh, as for Ukraine, Ukraine is um, a big iron ore producer, uh, a big coal producer, um, but not really for export. Um, so the iron ore is a factor there. Uh, it's more in agricultural commodities that Ukraine is, is important. Um, Ukraine also has some processing and things like aluminium, et cetera. But um, really it's iron ore that's, that's the, the factor there, but you know, not enough to disrupt international um, prices because, you know, you can get that product from Australia or, or, or Brazil. Um, really, it's more on the Russian side. But the, the, the issue is um, more um, about shipping, strangely, and banking because while the Russians are willing to sell their commodities, despite the fact that they're in a war, and there are people out there outside China who are willing to buy the commodities, uh, with shipping lines cancelling um, routes into Russia, and the international banking system essentially being close to Russia, uh, Russia has virtually been reduced to a barter economy for its um, for its mineral products. So they might be able to send them to the port, but they will sit in a Russian port because there won't be ships to take them, and there won't be a way for um, a big uh, producer of say a catalyst in catalytic converters in the West to pay for them. Um, so. Um, it's sort of game over in platinum and palladium. The price is obviously going to rise um, because of scarce supplies. Um, nickel um, hasn't risen as much as I would have thought it had, but I suspect that we we haven't we, you know seen as early days yet. We haven't seen it start to bite where companies actually see their stockpile falling and um, cannot get new supplies. Well, of course, we are privy to a lot of communications on the resource sector behind the scenes that many of the general public are not. And in that, I have seen a real hustle personally, an interest in both Monazite and many of the rare earths companies based in the United States. Can you comment on how this might be linked together? Because uh, that's something Jack Lipton and I have spoken to uh, at length. Well, Russia is, uh, has been in the past a big rare earth producer, but isn't now. It is a processor, though, of a lot of um, strategic metals. Um, and so, you know, there, there could be an effect there. Russians are not really big takers of rare earths um, because they're not really making any EV push or any, uh, the green economy doesn't really exist there. Um, so they're not building, you know, wind, uh, wind turbines like crazy. Um, I think that, the, uh, you know, the, the movement in rare earths tapping at the moment is, is entirely independent of this war. Uh, it really doesn't have much to do with it. It's just a, a secular rise in the prices for rare earths because um, China's just not producing as much as it used to. China's mines are over the hill. 
And of course, Christopher, you and I are both aware of the fact that on Bay Street, for instance, in Toronto, we have endless Russians that have invested in the resource sector and in the juniors. I'm wondering how this is going to impact some of these stocks in the market. Any comment? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, the Russians are liquefying at the moment. The oligarchs uh, are finding that all their uh, traditional sources of funds, whether there's money coming out of Russia or money they send into Russia, is not available. So uh, they have yachts, they have lifestyles, they have apartments and mansions and villas that they need to uh, maintain. And um, they are liquefying whatever they've got at the moment. Um, and so they will be tossing out the things that they're least com committed to. And if that includes junior explorers, they will be shoveled out the door at any price. Um, you know, Russian banks are selling their subsidiaries for nothing at the moment. And you will see that um, they will be getting rid of um, juniors um, like they're uh, not worth a damn. Well, Christopher, on that note, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. We would like, if possible, for you to join us uh, every week or so during, unfortunately, during the Russian invasion of the Ukraine yeah. and on Critical Materials Corner, of course, with Byron King and Jack Lifton. Uh, we would love it if you would join us again in the future. Thank you for your update today. Great. Thanks.